all drugs that you might take from aspirin to cancer medication to lupus medication all has to be tested to see if it works. If there are side effects, if there are negative consequences. So clinical trials is a way to test these medications. They're very important for minority populations, in particular black populations, because we want to know that these drugs actually work in us. The so Black Church uh, provides a lot of outreach and support, not just from a spiritual perspective, but also from a health outreach and health ministry perspective. I'm the president of the health ministry. We reach out to our parishioners as well as to the community. And I try to explain to them what a clinical trial is. So usually the question is, what do you think? Am I gonna be a guinea pig? Should I do this? What's gonna happen? So I always just say, listen to your body, number one, and educate yourself. So if it's a clinical trial and it's a medication, I say to you, go research it, find out what it's about. If you're at a big institution, which you probably are with the clinical trials, talk to someone who has been in one. See what their experience is. Was it good, bad, what is? And then have that conversation with your doctor, whoever your medical provider is. Make sure you let them know how you feel, what's going on. And you have the right to come out of it any time that you want to. So just because you sign on the dotted line and you start it, does not mean you have to stay if you feel that you're uncomfortable. Lupus clinical trials are important um, for two main reasons. One, there are very few drugs that directly treat lupus. Uh, and there's only been one drug approved in the last 40 or 50 years. So there is a need um, for patients, um, for new drugs, new therapies. Uh, the second reason is that lupus is a very complex uh, and serious disease. And lupus as a disease is what's called multi-organ. So your eyes can be impacted, your digestive system, your nervous system, your skin, your bones. We don't know exactly what causes lupus, but we often describe lupus as a puzzle. We know for certain that genetics or your hereditary factors are important, but that isn't enough. So there are environmental triggers to this disease as well. For example, exposure to sunlight can trigger onset of lupus or make lupus worse. We think gender may play a role because most of the patients are women. One of our challenges has been that we don't have enough drugs to treat lupus, and in part that's because lupus is such a complex disease. So conducting the trials and actually getting the results you need to get drugs past regulatory agencies has been difficult. If I could give some good advice to other health ministry leaders at another church about clinical trials, I would tell them first to educate yourself and make sure that when you talk to your parishioners or whomever you're talking to about it is that you're being very honest, letting them know how they can make it work for themselves, educating themselves, talking to their uh, health care providers and understanding their rights and responsibilities at, in a clinical trial. What we live for as a research uh, community and researchers are those times when the drugs actually work. Now they could work from a disease is cured, um, pain is relieved, but there are things uh, that are much more simple than that. Someone lives longer and is able to see their grandchild graduate from college. They live more of a pain-free life. They're able to attend a wedding that they weren't expected to be at. And those joys, those simple life occurrences are what we as a research community live for.